<clears throat> you know, my wife asked me last night, she asked me what my lowest point was. And I really think she was asking what was the lowest point in our marriage. But I'm not dumb enough to answer that question. So I said to her, what I do believe is my lowest point this is after I started my business six months into it, 1995 into 1996, I looked out my window, saw the repo man driving off of my car. It was the official sign that I was out of money. I had $40 to my name and it was on a Shell gas card. And I remember walking to that Shell gas station and buying $40 worth of milk and frosted flakes. walking back to my dumpy one bedroom apartment and saying, this isn't how it ends. In fact, this is just how it begins. This is not how my life was meant to be in a one bedroom dumpy apartment in Dallas, Texas, busted ass broke. So I got after it and fixed it. Made a good business, made a career, made a life and had success. And then my wife said, well, how do you look back on the on the low points, I said, man, I relish them. Those low points make these high points so much higher. That's the message, man. Relish the low points. Don't live in the low points, but relish them because the low points make the high points feel so much higher. Stay gritty. Oh, by the way. New record today, 54.